Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So today's minimalism video is actually a video request from longtime subscriber Little Manisha. So she has asked me, how could you apply minimalism as a student? So I have eight things that I want to talk about, in hopes that that, that might help out any of my subscribers who are minimalists and are currently students. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it, let's go. <laughs> So just a quick little disclaimer, these are the things that I did when I was a student and a minimalist. By no means am I saying that you need to do any of these or that being a student or being a minimalist are things that need to go hand in hand. I really do feel like I'm not the kind of person to tell people what to do. I'm just going to share with what worked for me. And if that could work for somebody else, fantastic. Take what works, leave what doesn't. Okay, so number one, monks and students wear a uniform, you can too. So for those of you who have followed me for a long time, you guys might know that when I was a minimalist or an extreme minimalist and I was a student, I had a uniform. I wore all black. That was my go-to. And my clothes fit in a luggage and I just wore that. And was it a fun experiment? It was. I definitely learned a lot about myself and about fashion and style and hyperconsumption. It's not my style anymore. I don't wear all black, but it was pretty good. I was in med school at the time, so not thinking about what I was wearing was also really helpful. I was able to allocate a lot more of my thoughts to just studying. I saw that as my responsibility at the time. I wanted to be a good student and I wanted to do well in school, so I figured if it's good enough for monks, it's good enough for me. So. I think that that could help a lot and something that also is part of that when I was in high school I wore a high school uniform so I had grown accustomed to wearing a uniform while being a student so if that's something that could help you I think that'd be fantastic you can allocate the resources both money and mental energy to studying as opposed to worrying about what you look like because as a student that isn't your primary concern okay number two in that vein your responsibility as a student is to work hard not to go shopping so that's something that was uh really hard for me <laughs> at the time i was in my late 20s i wanted to party it up i wanted to be the same as my peers because my peers were not children anymore my peers were working adults and i felt so jealous that they were out there living their best life and here i was in med school i mean i did it to myself but it didn't make it any easier so something that i had to tell myself was that it's my responsibility especially as a mature student i chose this for myself my hard own money i'm paying for med school i had to take my study seriously so that's something that kind of helped shift my mentality, especially because I was older. I wasn't fully a child anymore. I was already in my late 20s. So it was easier for me to ration out that as a student, it's not really the time to be going shopping. It's the time to be responsible and to focus on my studies. So that's something that I did and hope that can help somebody else out. Okay, number three, find fulfillment in creation, making videos, writing, drawing. So during that time when I wasn't studying and I wanted to have a good time but I couldn't shop because I had to pay off student loans, um, I took up writing and I took up drawing and also video editing when I was in teacher's college to keep myself from spending money at the mini plaza by the house I took up writing novels and that was really fun and then in med school I took up making a YouTube channel which has actually been much more <laughs> productive and better use of my time like I'm really happy with my channel if I had just bought clothes as my fun hobby in school that wouldn't have been as good a return on investment as my YouTube channel I'm really 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 happy with my YouTube channel um, I feel like I'm finally seeing the benefits of my YouTube channel now in the later stages as opposed to the beginning in the beginning it just it really was just like a waste of time I'll be honest I would go to the cafe and sit there and video edit for hours and try to upload and with like really slow internet it was just not fun if you ask me what are some of the clothes that I bought in China, do I still have them? I I, I want to say maybe, maybe not. I really don't remember and it just kind of goes to show that creating something is a lot more fulfilling, self-fulfilling than just mindless consumption. You know, I didn't really believe this until I actually did it myself. When I was first starting off minimalism, I really didn't believe this to be honest. I'll be I'll be completely honest. I thought it was just stuff that people said, minimalists just lied. Of course, who wouldn't want to go shopping? That's so much fun. But it wasn't until the years went by and I started to see that the fruits of my labor really did pay off in things that were creations that I realized that they weren't lying. It's, it's actually true. Okay, number five, live like a student shop for deals, live below your means. So in a lot of those finance books that I read while I was in med school to kind of help me be more frugal, one of the tips that I learned was, uh, and it was ironic because I was actually a student, but one of the tips was uh, live like a student. So I realized I really 
I really was just a student. I don't know why I felt the need to have to like bouge out on a student budget. So I started becoming more student-like. So I started, you know, doing my best to shop around for student deals, living below my means. One thing that I invested in that actually turned out to be a pretty good investment, Will and I used to pay for the gym at the other university. We ended up buying our own treadmill and we did the math and it turns out it was cheaper. So I had a treadmill in my room because it was cheaper than the gym membership. I also did my best to shop around for student deals. I bought a lot of stuff on Taobao. I also made Made my own meals i also went without a lot of luxuries like we didn't go out to eat at like many fancy restaurants we did our best to, like cook in the student kitchen you know honestly it, it was actually really fun and we used to ride around on a motorcycle and that was really fun instead of buying a car i don't even know if i could have bought a car in china to be honest um i just felt like it was such a massive upgrade to be riding a motorcycle than taking the public subway so i think that live below your means would be really helpful understand that you are just a student so you should do student things and no one's gonna shame you for it because you're still young you're still just a student but maybe that level of frugality might be looked down upon in your later years so i feel like take advantage live it up especially if you're young roughing it out is not as difficult as it is in your like later age so take advantage of that okay number six your greatest asset is time and youth cherish it don't waste it on mindless shopping so this is something more of a thing i can say in hindsight i really didn't cherish my youth the way that i do now that i'm in my 30s when i was in my 20s i felt like i was gonna live forever i guess because you've never experienced you know aging the same way you do in your 30s than you did in your 20s in your 20s you still kind of sort of or at least i have always still like when i was in my 20s what am i saying that that's actually not it i don't know i guess yeah it's just maybe age i really do appreciate my youth and i do appreciate that my time on this planet is finite now that i'm in my 30s i kind of sort of have enough wisdom now to realize that i'm actually not gonna live forever so i think that that's something that if i could give myself old advice or old me advice i would tell myself that you know what like you're never gonna be this young ever again your youth is uh, time limited you should you should cherish your youth and you shouldn't waste it on mindless shopping i did good though i was an extreme minimalist at the time so that's something that i kind of sort of had already an inkling of i knew that my time in china wasn't going to be forever i was an international student so i knew that eventually there would come a day where i wouldn't live here anymore so i did my best to just cherish the moment so my extreme minimalism really did allow me to enjoy life to the fullest i remember i got to eat whatever i wanted i remember i used to drive around on my motorcycle and just having a good time and i really do cherish that when i think back to my best times in china that's what i think of i don't think like oh i bought I bought a sweater at X and Y store. That's not that's not what I think about. So that's something that I've still carried with me to this day is that I cherish my time. I'm enjoying my 30s. I'll never be 30 again, so I might as well enjoy it. Okay, number seven, embrace a capsule wardrobe. So my closet space was just enough of what could like fit in the closet could fit in a luggage so i really did embrace uh, a capsule wardrobe when i was an extreme minimalist when i was in med school my closet was very small so that constraint kind of taught me how to be in my opinion <laughs> chic while doing it such that you had a small amount of clothes i really learned how to embrace like a small amount of clothing and still feel like put together and still feel like confident in my clothes a capsule wardrobe taught me a lot about, um i guess detaching my self-worth from hyper consumption i think if i had a bigger closet maybe especially because i was younger i might have felt a need to like fill it up with stuff but because i had such a tight constraint it all had to fit in the luggage i really did enjoy a capsule wardrobe i mean i don't have a capsule wardrobe and anymore but at that time it served me really well i didn't really spend much money on clothes i i really did follow the mantra of one in one out at that time because not even out of principle or you know minimalism you know zealotness but rather because i really just didn't have any space i really did enjoy not having to think about how i would get dressed uh, in the mornings i had morning classes that started at eight i had to like get up and showered by like seven so for me not having to think about what i wore was just phenomenal and i love that and i think i'll do my best to return to that just because it was really nice it was really nice not having to think about that okay and number eight wearing similar colors it's more chic and easier to style so that's something that i really liked a lot in my minimalism journey especially in my extreme minimalism i took it too far and i wore only black i don't know if i would recommend that to other people but i'll just let you know that that's what i did i wore all black and it was very practical it wasn't very fun or exciting but i guess that's not really the function of you know all black it's supposed to be chic supposed to be functional i kind of did learn that wearing similar colors similar families of colors 
did allow for getting dressed really nicely and I, I finally felt for the first time in my late 20s I, I felt that feeling of like put together with my clothes I no longer had those feelings of like this doesn't really match since I bought everything to be of a similar colorway I found that everything started to match and I felt like I was like fully optimizing my wardrobe which was nice that was a really nice feeling so in terms of like minimalism there's a lot of things that I wouldn't buy just because of the color so I feel like I saved money in that sense like I might see a cute sweater but like say for example it was in red or it was in blue or some color I never wore I wouldn't buy it because it wasn't a similar color I just knew I wouldn't be able to make that match with the clothes instead of my capsule wardrobe so yeah those are the things that I did in my minimalism when I was a student if some of these are a bit extreme no worries <laughs> this is just what worked for me and is not part of everyone's minimalism journey but I thought that that might help anybody else out because they were very helpful for me and I felt like it elevated me as a person and so I feel like I hope that that could help somebody else out So quick little commercial break, just a quick little mention from today's sponsor slash partnering. So Vivea has partnered with me. This is the third video that I've made with them. So I'm like super excited and happy to share that with you guys because I actually really, really like Vivea shoes. I think they're fantastic. I still have all of my Vivea shoes from the past three years. They started partnering with me in 2020 and they have kindly gifted me four shoes to share with you guys. These are the newer models and I am like super excited to share that with you guys. So here we have four shoes. So I'm going to be unboxing them on camera and then here on the side, I'm also going to be showing you guys So let us go off with the first one So the first pair that they shared with me was the first pair that they gifted me was this one and it's so freaking cute I am so excited. So this one is Aria number five in the almond and black and it's so Chanel-esque looking. Oh my gosh I was so excited for this pair because I've been kind of wanting a pair that looks like this So the fact that they sent me one and is from shoes that I know are super comfortable super excited um, this is in a size 38 just a little mention with the sizing with this if you look at the number chart at least this was an issue with me I technically am my mm like my size like I'm 250 mm so technically I'm a size 9 but with these shoes I ordered a 9 didn't fit ordered 38.5 still didn't fit and it wasn't until I got the 8 that they fit so I don't know if it's like the extra length here that they account for but if you are a size I might recommend sizing down one size so i am a nine but it ended up that the eight fit me instead so that is what she looks like super freaking cute so the next pair that they sent me were the henna latte faux fur also in a size eight i had ordered the nine and vivia is so nice like they were so accommodating they said not a problem like let's exchange it the nine did not fit even though on the chart i am a nine i sized down to the eight and the eight fit like a dream just want to show you guys that colorway oh my gosh you guys know i love a beige aesthetic so this is so pretty they're black on the bottom and they have this very beautiful latte color with a black on the trim so nice and it says vivea and it's just everything i think i have more shoes from vivea than i do from any other company it's actually kind of insane i am so like honored and blessed that they have partnered with me throughout the years i love their shoes I can vouch for their shoes, amazing quality. The next pair that they sent me were the Scarlets in the black. So these are a size 38. And again, I had the same issue in the heels. I have their 39s and they don't fit me. I even bought like an insole for the 39s. My wedding heels are the beige ones and the 39s do not fit me. They don't fit me at all. I was like, I would have loved to have gotten them a 38. I just, I didn't think... Like, I mean, I'm a size 39. I have really big feet. And so the fact that like a 38 turned out to be my size, the only reason I ordered these in 38s was because the 39 did not fit me, the 38.5 did not fit me. And it wasn't until I got the 38s that I was like, okay, well done. So the 38s fit me like a glove. They're so beautiful. So yeah, so these are the 38s. These are in the all black. So freaking gorgeous. The little kitten heels, they're so comfortable. Like when you actually get like your shoe to size, it is so, 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 so freaking comfortable. I love them a lot. I'm absolutely obsessed. I love these. I'm going to be wearing these to my dinner, my birthday dinner with Will. So that is super exciting. And then other heels that they sent me were the Scarlet Creams. And they're just so freaking pretty. Also in a size 38. Unbox that for you guys. I already broke the seal because I had to try them on just to make sure that they were the right size. Ah. These are so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. 
they are so Chanel-esque with the little black heel and the cream. I am so excited to wear these. I'm not sure when I might wear these. I'll probably wear these to my dinner, my birthday dinner with my family. I'll wear the blacks for my date with Will and then these for my regular birthday with my fam. So yeah, they also come with these like little extra, it's like the heel tack because these do wear out, which I think is just so thoughtful and so nice. There is a slight color difference between the Arias, the Aria number no. 5. This one is more of a white white beige and this is actually like a deeper cream. I'm not sure if the camera shows it, but this one is a little bit more white and this one's a little bit more cream for anybody who was curious. Besides that though, they are pretty much like on point. So again, thank you so much to Vivea for partnering with me. I am so, so appreciative of the size changes and the shoes. I love them. I think they're freaking fantastic. And I'll probably do like a, my entire Vivea shoe collection, which is actually kind of insane. I think I have like over six pairs, maybe seven. I'm not sure. I've lost count. But thank you so much to Vivea. I love the shoes. And yeah, so here is a discount code for you guys. Editor Nat, work your magic. Again, no pressure. You guys know that I'm really big about intentional shopping. This is just if you were curious. If you are not interested in buying a pair, no worries. You guys supporting my channel is more than enough. So thank you to my little Cobra babies because honestly, none of this would be possible without you guys. So thank you so much to little Manisha for the video request. This was really fun to film and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.